This is a cadaveric liver transplantation. Uh, the organ has come from a 55-year-old woman uh, who has kindly accepted, I mean, whose family has kindly accepted to donate the organ. It is uh, their noble uh, deed which enabled this transplantation. Actually, they are the ones uh, who are the, um, uh, if we can say, the stars of this process. We, as doctors, are, I mean, the medical team as a whole, are just a pair of hands. So we facilitated the we facilitated the the process. So it is uh, the noble gesture of the donor family, which has, uh, in fact, given a new life or a sec second lease of life to the recipient. The main uh, causes or the etiologies of liver disease are hepatitis B, uh, and uh, alcohol, and also uh, uh, I think to an extent hepatitis C, and uh, we. Uh, are the, I mean, uh, it's well known that we have a high incidence of diabetes and metabolic syndrome. I think uh, non-alcoholic liver disease is also on the rise and uh, it's also an important cause of liver disease in India. I mean, there is a very good chance that he will uh, be living as a normal active life, uh, a fully productive life. But uh, he's on uh, few anti-rejection medications uh, to... Uh, to protect the organ from uh, from the, from rejection, so he will naturally have the side side effects of the medications. The, all the medications will have some kind of side effects. The anti-rejection medications have uh, decreased the immuno, Im, Im, immunity of the patient, so uh, he is prone to infections, and uh, there is a small chance, long-term chance of him having cancers, and also this rejection anti-rejection medications uh, can cause uh, a few of them can cause uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, and also over a long period of time, kidney, di kidney damage. So what are the precautions The precautions have been told to the uh, patient. We ask them uh, to get regularly checked uh, to uh, prevent infections. We give, uh, give the uh, recipient uh, some an prophylactic antibiotics and antiviral medications.